toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I. We go with Zanotti. Gaffet. Well, they're not going to bother calling that. Boy, that was travelling. The angle of it. Gaffet handles that really well and drives through with the attack hit. Well, he does just bring such heat when he swings that right arm. Watch out, take cover. 22-18. First, they'll want a side out. Not sure they're going to do that. But Gap has to make sure they don't. Any slim hopes Argentina might have had of making this second set interesting. Surely extinguished with that spike right there from Irvin. Cavana then with serve. Gap in. Uh, really clever there. Well, like that, there's an ace. And right there, Julio Velasco says, I'm calling a timeout on this. We have got to get this right. Zanotti was in a horrible position there, swirling at him. And then that realisation that Can he come up with a big serve? Handled by Tilly. And, uh, and Gaffet was not going to be denied there. Side out France. Well, this is a very, very... Particularly well handled by Zanotti. Well, he'll be furious with himself because Nitoniuti serve is not a lethal weapon. And Zanotti's just got that all wrong. That's spinning crazily away. To secure this third set, Tilly handles a pretty soft serve, and Gapev drove through and got lucky. My goodness me, that was so nearly a fourth set right there. Those net cords, you're gambling, you're rolling the dice, you don't know which way it's going to go. This one went four. The big hitting Frenchman. <laughs> Eight, four, and two sets to one. A bit of a reach there for Soleil. Gapeth just has to dump that over. Oh, it might be coming back. No, cavana has got a touch on it. Now, who can get control of this ball? And Gapeth is the answer. Oh, that was a team. That was a point that both teams were struggling with any kind of control. Those are the points you have to have when you're trying to chase down a four-point deficit. And Argentina thwarted by the nice touch there from Irving, Irving and Gapeth, and that is now a five-point France lead. Again, not ideal, nothing Cavana could do except just dump it over on the second touch. Yeah, service reception just all over the place here for Argentina. And he is looking on with some concern because this set looks like it might have gone already. Two poor service receptions in a row. It has cost Argentina dear. They were chasing a four-point deficit, now they're chasing a six. Soleil with serve. Uti looking over for Gapeth. Nobody's going to win every one of those battles, but your money's always going to be on Irvin of Gaffin. He just hits with such authority, and if he can get a bit of downward trajectory, as he did on that one in here then. Ace uh, dropped in, Gonzalez had gone wide, ready to handle. Nick off, the libero comes back in, and Cavana serving. Gapev again beats that block. Luzer and Gonzalez over there just looked at each other as if. That's exactly what happened there. So Zanotti will continue to serve. And Gapev gets the job finished there. Gapev, the top scorer in this match through two sets with 12 points. Stick another one onto his tally. Tony 
beauty. When France will make their move in this second set, will they make it on the Boyer serve here? Hoglehen hoping that is not the case. Just about rescued there, and Gaffer just has to shove it over. Sole can't finish the job. Picked up by Boyer, great rescue by Grabenikov. And then Agape finishing it. Now that's the kind of point that really can set the tone for a set. France had no business being in this point. And they just hustled it over there. Strong defense from both Boyer and Grabenikov. Kept it alive, and then in the end, look at that. He split the two blockers beautifully there on Gapeth. Over. Very high ball toss, and really zings it in, and Gapeth is often the target for the server. Gapeth did his job, and then was able to finish it. Target. Gonzalez. Boye will pick that up. And Agape is too strong for the block this time. But once again, the Argentinians getting their blocks up. It's been a source of some frustration for Julio Velasco that watches his team. Their blocking just doesn't seem to get going till the second set of a man. Till he handles service reception on Gape. Too strong once again. Banged in by the big fella, Le Goff. Going to be picked up by Boye. And Gappet. Gappet with his big power hits. Creates havoc for would be blockers. And with this first set now running away from Argentina, Julio Velasco decides, well, I've got two timeouts per set. I might as well take one right here. Yeah, driven straight away teams with his serving as he did in the first set against Poland. That was really well picked up by. Poglehen, but it's uh, ended up as an overpass. And Gapet, though, drives through and gets the job finished. Now, Argentina know what Urban and Gapet is all about. Poland were 5 3 up in that first set when Gapet came up to serve. And on the way through, 15 all in. Second set. Got Uti, Gapet, Conte will try and keep that alive. Uh, that's not going to work. Now he's gone over rather heavily there as well. Conte, he's okay. That's good. France get to the second technical timeout. 16-15 up. Keep an eye. The Argentinian number seven who's going to disappear off our screens. Right here. Just to add an insurance point to their slender lead here. Will it come here? Poglehen can't beat Grabenikov. Good opportunity this. And Gapet gets a win against Luzer. Now that might just be the insurance point that we'll see Laurent Tilly's side secure this second set. Personnel change for Argentina as Christian Poglehen goes out and Lissandro Zanotti comes in. Plenty of Zanotti in previous matches here in work that from Argentina. Conte then will continue. Tilly handles serve and gap it. Well, when it comes off a block, once a gap has swung through it, it's probably not coming back, side out France. Well, it's good news and bad news for the French. The bad news, they've got three points to recover on serve. The good news from here with Zanotti up next. Gapet wins that duel. Tony serves and Otti handles that one a lot better, but Luzer can't get a winner out of it. Will Agape find a winner? Yes, he will. It's France off to the flyer here. In this fourth set. That one was never in doubt. Will Agape now going into Argentina. Do peg one of those points back that they're chasing, which means Cavana will continue to serve and Agape. The block goes into the antenna, which kills the point immediately. So side out France. And there you see it. Off the block, off the antenna. Point over. Get to Turin. And the third phase of this men's world volleyball championship.
Ramos can't find a winner there. Tom Uti will send it over. And Poglahan, or <laughs> Poglahan and Gaffin, working it off the block. I think uh, one of those would-be blockers was Poglahan, but uh, whatever, nothing doing there. Till I get up, time is barely on our side.